so what's up everybody these are going to be my black clover 336 predictions i think this chapter is going to be very dialogue intense probably going to get new scenery and also as to what's happening to asta i don't think it's going to be a full chapter as to what's going on with him but i think we're going to get something at the end but let's get into my black clover 336 predictions First of all, if you like anime, manga, reviews, discussions, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video. So wish it would be some false copyright strikes. So let's get this channel back to 5,000. Check out the Discord. So the end of last chapter was a huge cliffhanger. Black Clover 335, we saw that Asta was teleported to who knows where. Sister Lily looked like she did a finishing blow on Asta, but we know for a fact that she probably teleported him to another place. My assumption, she probably teleported him to the underworld. It'll be interesting to see where Sister Lily actually teleports Asta and then seeing basically his last moments I wonder what Libe is thinking at this moment but this is interesting in a sense because we know for a fact that Asta is going to survive this even if he dies temporarily we know he's going to live that's just how the shonen world works plus he's the main character so there's no way that the story is going to end right here it's going to continue but to the other characters they're basically going to assume Asta is dead or Asta is on as close to it in a sense because they literally just saw either sister Lily getting the final blow or he's gone somewhere to live his last seconds of life so they're most likely going to have a meeting as to what exactly happened like i said before the fact that now people are going to know that lucius is julius and then they're going to start questioning julius's background and where he comes from i wouldn't be surprised if people are going to be like wow how do we let this person get into the clover kingdom and not only get into the clover kingdom infiltrates it so much that that person got a high ranking position in the kingdom so so we're probably going to get a lot of dialogue as to things that we didn't knew about the past of Julius. Maybe we're going to figure out how he actually became a member of the Clover Kingdom Society. I think most likely he got his documents in the kingdom forgerized. So he's probably under the identity of somebody that was actually there. Or there's a possibility that Lucius was actually born in the Clover Kingdom. I would like a backstory as to how Lucius and Julius became members of this kingdom. And I think they're going to explain it or at least touch on it this chapter i think we're gonna get maybe a new character introduced i don't think it's gonna be to the same level of extent as when yami and william vengeance got kidnapped i don't think it's gonna be like that i think it's going to be more in the sense of they're going to have a meaning as to what exactly happened how do they move forward knowing that somebody in not only the magic knight squads but also the clover kingdom at a high rank was this shady character this whole time i think the magical knight squads are gonna have to definitely talk to the kingdom and the world society because remember there's basically two systems in the clover kingdom there is the king which is king augustus from what we know unless they change the king in the last year and three months which i highly doubt it and then there's the wizard king who is basically like the prime minister the thing is now is that if the king saw one of the branches of governmental power which is basically the wizard king being a liability and this whole entire time lucius was julius it shows that there is faulty in that position then i can see the king probably revoking the title wizard king in the kingdom because we know that once the royalty actually learns about this and learns that this person who was basically the prime minister of the kingdom was not someone to be trusted it was basically almost as if a spy had gone into the kingdom and gotten high ranks because remember lucius is really from the spade kingdom unless he was born in the clover kingdom somehow i'm not entirely sure how that is i really hope we get a somewhat backstory to that another thing as well is that i think noel is going to actually confess her love to Asta to people around her. I think she's going to be in the same situation as Charlotte when Yami got kidnapped. I think she's going to have to express her feelings more. People are going to start understanding her feelings because I think the only person that really knows that Noelle loves Asta is Noelle. Maybe Mimosa probably understands that there's some type of feeling there. Maybe the other Black Bull members kind of like say, hey, there's something there, but they don't know to what extent. Noelle now knowing that she loves Asta, she was not able to talk to him that much during the year in three months as stated in one of the chapters after the break she didn't really have like a decent amount of time with asa as she should because she was so embarrassed emotional and kind of shy that she was with her crush in a sense i expect heavy dialogue from noelle we're definitely going to get something from her in terms of her regretting not spending as much time with asa also expect something similar to mimosa but i think mimosa is not going to have the same amount of regrets as noelle because i'm pretty sure mimosa did have some time with asa but then again she did 
say that all she's been thinking about is Asta after he fought Lucifero and she couldn't really heal him in that time. So I don't know her situation is the same as Noel in terms of her not spending enough time with him. Also, I would love to see Yami's and William Vengeance dialogue. I'm still saying that somehow, some way, Yami has dark magic because of whatever Lucius did to him. Because we're not entirely sure if Julius was 100% aware of Lucius in terms of like, as a Wizard King, was he always 100% aware that he had that second side to him? It makes me wonder, maybe there's a possibility that Julius became so strong in terms of like mental strength and was able to control the body while Lucius wasn't as strong. And that's why Lucius planned to have Julius basically die when he was fighting against William Vengeance, but came back to life as a kid because he was weaker, which made it easier for Lucius to take control of the body more. I think that's a possibility because Julius, he seems like a really nice guy. So I wouldn't be surprised if he thought that Lucius was just basically a back thought. He was able to control his body most of the time. And that's why he probably had trust in himself because if Julius knew this whole entire time that Lucius at any point can take control of his body, then I'm pretty sure he would have not be so near people. And then when Julius died and got reborn as a kid, Julius might have forgot as to who Lucius was. It'll be interesting to have that explained in this chapter a little bit. I really want a somewhat of a small dive into Julius's backstory because we know that there was some type of documents talking about there was a devil that came into the Clover Kingdom when Danatio confronted Julius. That being said, I definitely think that there's a possibility that we might get something revealed in this chapter in terms of how Julius was able to infiltrate the Clover Kingdom. And then obviously the captain's meeting, William Vengeance and Yami, I would love to see their reaction as to them learning about Lucius kidnapping Asta because I don't think they fully understand what happened. I would like to see the dialogue that Yami has with the other captains knowing that Asta actually got taken away because remember Asta, I'm pretty sure at this point is probably one of his favorite Black Bull members because if it wasn't for Asta, the Black Bulls wouldn't have been number two Metrical Night Squad in the whole entire kingdom. So we're definitely going to get something about him missing Asta and his dialogue with the other Black Bulls and I would love to see the Black Bulls reactions learning about Asta's kidnapping. Also, another thing that I would like to see as well is Yuno's reaction because we know that Yuno's on a mission apparently. So what will happen when Yuno finds out this news? I'm pretty sure Yuno is going to be sad and mad but also he's going to understand that Asta is going to do whatever he can to survive. So I would love to see Yuno in this chapter. I highly doubt it. I don't think we're going to get Yuno into probably like a couple of chapters from now but maybe he's going to get a whisper of it probably from one of the other Golden Dawn members. So it'll be interesting to see that. And then lastly, I think this chapter is going to end with Asta being shown where he's at, his quote unquote final resting place. And I think it's going to be the underworld. I don't think it's going to be revealed as to where it is, but at least we're going to see little snippets as to the environment. I definitely think the next chapter is going to end with Asta having like a half a panel or a panel and you kind of just see him laying there in his last moments of life, quote unquote. But of course, we know for a fact Asta's story is not going to end here. We know that he's eventually going to defeat Lucius. If it's not him, he's going to be a major part of it. He's probably going to land the finishing blow. So there's just so many possibilities as to what will happen with Asta in this chapter. I hope Tabata handle it well. So far, it's been pretty good. Tabata is having a lot of fun since the three months break. Literally excited for this chapter. I'm excited for Black Clover. Everybody who reads Black Clover right now, I'm pretty sure is thinking the same thing. Like, we need that next chapter now. But yes, that's basically all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think is going to happen in Black Clover 336. Do you think Asta is going to be shown as to where he's been teleported? Do you think that majority of the cast thinks that he's actually dead? Do you think we're going to have a basically a Magic Knight Squad meeting? Or do you think it's going to be a couple of chapters from now? Do you think it's possible that Noelle expresses her feelings towards Asta to everybody around her? So then now everybody knows exactly that she actually cares about Asta. It's something I always wonder, when is Noelle's father going to show up in the story? Do you think we're going to get Yuno in this chapter? Maybe just a little snippet. What do you think Yami's dialogue is going to be knowing that Lucius, who is Julius, somebody he respected very well, kidnapped Asa, who's probably his favorite Black Bulls member? Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here.